Hello, everyone. So welcome, welcome to this masterclass about trauma and weight. So I'm just going to see if I can share my screen. You know, the thing about weight and trauma is actually a lot of people always trying to do like a new diet or trying to work out really hard. And there are all constantly there are like new ideas about what is healthy what is you know you can really lose yourself into that and I think a lot of people a lot of women especially are going down a rabbit hole and not really knowing how to get out of there uh, because when they look in the mirror then they still don't they're not really happy with what they see and that's that's partly conditioned by you know the high standards I believe we have um, as a woman in this age that you what, what ways you have to look like you know also aging is not really like appropriate thing um, you know we all want to look as young as possible and I know and not the not it's not for everyone that doesn't come up for everyone but there is an atmosphere of having to be perfect in your uh, the way your body looks and you know um let me see if i can share my screen yep here we are okay so i hope you can see it properly i hope you can let's see so yeah this is about trauma and weight, finally overcoming weight issues and creating mental freedom around food and exercise by healing your unrecognized trauma. So the thing is what I was talking about, what we commonly do, we try to go on a diet and another diet and another diet. And trust me, I've been there too, to finally, you know, have this magical thing that works for you. And, um, well, I'm here to tell you that it doesn't really work for work like that for most of us. And I believe it's actually for 90, 99% of the women. It doesn't work like that, you know. Um, yeah, so my name is Daphne. I am a master healer and coach, and I am an international fashion model. So, you know, there, there, what's actually in the fashion industry, you know, as a fa as a model, you are not only a model, but you are seen as like a role model. What is good and what is bad and what is you know there's there's a lot of judgment there and also in the industry you know it's it's amplified how perfect you need to be um so i kind of um i had a whole whole journey in that to overcome that and to you know to learn from that and what i actually experienced was that the issue is not the food the issue is the way you perceive yourself and how trauma um, uh, did adapt, did, did um, how trauma actually creates that and also creates a people please mentality that you want to be part of that perfection uh, illusion. Um, I'm just going to go into that a little bit later, what kind of things that can be um, for you. and uh, But it can be so many different things. But there's what I've experienced. And also when I when I do sessions with, with people, I also like when they come to me with like food problems or, you know, weight issues or, um, you know, uh, eating dysregulations, they often what's going on is that they don't feel safe in their body like something happened that they don't feel safe in their body and food is a very intimate thing you know it's it's also what what also what i also see is that there are a lot of relationship correlations like if you have trouble with or trouble you know when there's something going on with relationships as well or maybe with the the relationship with your mother or with the relationship with your father that there can be some healing done in that. And um, 
and and you know there there are underlying things going on that you wouldn't think at first that um is the problem with your weight and stuff like that because often what we do is actually we are very uh we can be very strict and very angry towards ourselves and like oh sh- sh- you know we should have have more discipline i should be you know uh should be doing this and then we're you know i've been there too i've done i've I've made like the whole list of this is what i'm gonna do this is what i'm gonna eat and this is how i'm gonna get there and yes it worked for like a few weeks but then i was like miserable again or it jumped back or you know you had the yo-yo effect again and so you know for long term it doesn't really work like that for long term it does work if you you know, work on the underlying issues. And that's what we're going to do in this masterclass. So, um, yeah, so I experienced an eating disorder and uh, and had my own journey in weight issues and body image for years. So food is not the problem. Yeah, it's often the consequence of deeper issue, like I said. So the real we- reason behind weight issues and body uh, image issues and you know overly uh, exercising it's often a manifestation of a deeper emotional issue like trauma big or small you know sometimes the very a very small thing that happened in our childhood that wasn't you know was innocent in when you look at it right now but it can if you if you as a child would interpreted that in in a way that is very harmful to you or it's very judgmental you know it it can be become a big thing in your energy system so um yes people pleasing what is also often like um a consequence of like trauma or uh you know attachment style um problems um, it can also be a loyalty to your family. You see this in, um, in for example, like um, uh, some cultures where it's where food is very much um, a, a, a cultural a bonding family thing, you know, and that's not a bad thing. That's a beautiful thing. But there is sometimes... Um, if you have like if you're all your aunts and uncles and your mother and your father if everyone is uh, overweight and you are the first one in your family who is like tackling these issues then there can be like a form of loyalty and it's also like um what's it called it can also sabotage your your uh, your desire to like either lose weight or just have a healthy body um so that can be the problem so relationship issues yeah childhood insecurity or uh, unsafety uh here it says in <laughs> i mean unsafety you know if there's a lot of chaos um around you as a kid it can or if you have to if you as a kid had to take care of yourself um the outside world can become um and especially if it's influenced in like a later stage of your life, the um, the the outside world can become a very um, well scary um, environment, and you and work what and the consequence of that is that you don't feel safe in your body anymore, and you know food is very much correlated with how what with how you feel in your body you know it's 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 also enjoyment to to eat something but it's also nurturement and if you can't really if you haven't learned to nurture yourself as a kid then sometimes what happens is that you fail to to be able to nurture yourself as an adult and food is a really big symbolic thing in that Mm, all right so sexual trauma then you can, uh, if you've experienced sexual trauma, weight can be a protection sometimes from being attractive or just like a, like a physical, you know, literally a protection of not happening that, uh, of not wanting that to happen again. 
So you kind of protect yourself and also um, you protect yourself from being attractive because then, you know, the mind goes like, oh, if I'm being thin and, and I have a beautiful body, then it will happen again. You know, it, I will be assaulted again or something like that. Um, but it can also be that you, you, you know, there's some that you're, that you're, you are, for example, overweight, uh, or even underweight, that's possible as well. Um, that you are scared that if you have like beautiful curves, or if you are, have like a tiny waist, or, you know, if you, if you have a beautiful, uh, uh body, then that you, um, uh, that you will be attractive again and um that the chances of cheating on your partner um will you know go up and if you don't have the if you, if you haven't healed that part of yourself if you don't fully trust yourself in that it, you know you you can sabotage your you know your weight issues a little bit and that so yeah and dieting like i said will sometimes only make the effects worse because it's a hyper focus on your body and um, it's the mind that is doing the work there. It's not the emotional body that gets healed. But yes, healing is possible. And do remember that healing is a process. Um, I really don't believe in people who say like, well, good for you if you did it in three months. I'm not going to say something about that. But in my experience, these bigger issues, you know, um, it's not for nothing that you haven't looked at it because it takes a bit of time and you weren't able to look at them before. And the way, the reason that you actually, that you may be listening to this masterclass is that you are ready to, you know, to be dealing with the underlying issue instead of dealing with the materialistic part of it, like dieting and exercising and stuff like that. Because you know what happens when you heal the underlying issue, the dieting and the exercise, you have more self-love, you know, there is more self-love and, and there's not a need to fix something in like a, um, in like a harsh way. So, so yeah, what would naturally happen is that you will you will want to take care of your body in like a balanced way. If you've really healed the underlying issues, then um, yeah, it will happen naturally. In my experience, that's what happens. So yeah, healing is possible, but take it one step at a time. Okay, so your weight is a manifestation of what is bothering you on a deeper level sometimes unconscious like i said but the reason you're here is probably that you have a small step you know you're already taking a small step towards seeing that issue to one's wanting to fix that to one wanting to heal that and that's what we're going to do in this master class as well practicing kindness and of and softness towards yourself can be very hard because you've made strictness about food or judgment about your body a habit you know, and part of this whole thing is also admitting that sometimes it has become a habit and we need to change the identity towards ourselves. You know, we, 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 it, it's become our second skin that we are either overweight or have uh, issues with food or, you know, it's become a part of yourself. And we're going to talk about that in a, in a bit, but yeah. Only if, our, if we allow ourselves to be curious with kindness, we can see the patterns that we haven't seen before. So yes, there is a lot of kindness involved in this. There needs to be a lot of kindness involved in this because it's scary to look sometimes at what you don't want to look at. You know, it's scary sometimes to see the underlying and it's not that it's necessary to be scary, but that's what we made in our minds. Okay, the anger towards yourself isn't going to heal anything, my love. Love is healing. Love is transformation. Put more love in the situation and that's what you'll get out of it. So first we need to give you an opening of love. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the next meditation, I will. it's a short meditation where we're going to meet your 
future self. And this future self is already healed from your food issues and weight problems or exercise, you know, whatever is, um, whatever fits your uh, pattern. So allow yourself to talk to him or her. And if you're not tra yet trained in visualizing your intuition, then I would recommend to see some other videos and, and um, also do the ones with the affirmations around intuition and do the healing on intuition, because then you will, um, then the, the road to see it clearly will become cleared. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So you, you can um, develop that ability a little bit. So these upcoming healings and meditations will become easier for you. All right. So let's do this little meditation. You know, in this meditation, we're going to receive advice regarding your eating and exercise habits. So just want to ground you a little bit. Just take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Just close your eyes. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And if you need some more time to really ground in your body and really, you know, be ready to receive the um to receive the inner guidance from your future self please feel free to pause the video for a while so you can really ground yourself really take a few deep deep breath in and out and come back to it whenever you're ready all right so i want you to visualize a white white safe space you can make it as safe as you want but know that in this safe space you can't be harmed or hurt there's nothing that will touch you nothing that will harm you you're safe and surrounding you there's only unconditional love I'm just going to do a little, little healing before we start this meditation and download you with that. It's safe to see whatever comes up. It's safe to hear whatever comes up and it's safe to feel whatever comes up. So I'm just going to download you with a lot of safety. Because some of you haven't even um, experienced these uh in the emotional side before okay so in this wide place that you visualized i want you to imagine coming a figure out in the back coming towards you and it's such a beautiful beautiful figure and it's you it's your future self that's coming towards you and that image is becoming clearer and clearer as they walk your way. When they stand in front of you, I want you to see them and observe them and see how beautiful they look, how bright, how healthy. This is your future self that has gone through the healing journey and that has released the weight issues and come out the other side. You see, it is possible. Because in the universe, there is a version of you that has done this. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. All right. So now I want you to see them very clearly. And as you see them very clearly, I want you to imagine that they're giving you a gift. And it can be whatever. It can be any form of gift. It can be an energy. It can be an emotion. It can be a physical gift. It can be a symbol. 
and your subconscious mind knows exactly what this gift is so don't force it just notice it just observe and when it doesn't come right now it will come in the next few days or in the next week because you've made an opening right now by doing this meditation all right so i want you to receive that gift from your future self that has already healed all the food issues all the weight issues that has come out the other side and i want you to open that gift what is it what has they given you i want you to feel what that does to you what the gift does to you how it changed you, how it can transform you in beautiful, beautiful ways and in the best way possible. When you look at this gift, after that I want you to look at them again, to look at your future self, the one who has healed all the food issues, has overcome all the heavy traumas, all the heaviness. And I want you to hear them give you advice. What advice would they give you right now in this moment? They've already seen the whole path. So they know exactly what you need to do. What's the advice they give to you right now for the upcoming weeks or months and I'm just going to be silent so that you can hear that what's the advice What's the best advice they could give you? Maybe some tears come up. That's totally fine. I've got you. So these, this future self, they can all, you can always count on them. You can always ask them for a little help or advice whenever you need it. So I want you to say thank you to this future self. Thank you for leading my way. And I want you to open your eyes. All right, welcome back. Okay. So let's see. I would, oh, are we here yet? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I hope you can still see me, but okay. So what did that do for you? What did that give you? What did you hear? And maybe you want to, you know, pause the video for a while and write it down. Because sometimes it can be very powerful. All right. So now I'm going to give you a little healing and trauma. Uh, leading, <laughs> a little healing for um, surrounding this trauma. So I'm just going to channel a little bit and see what comes up for you and what needs to be done. So you can either close your eyes um, or, or remain with your eyes open. And if you want to, I, I use theta healing for most of the time. Sometimes I use other techniques as well. But most of the time when I give downloads, theta, theta healing downloads created uh, is a modality created by Fanny Seibel. And um yeah, so if you want to receive these downloads, sometimes I say, like, would you like, 
would you like this? Would you like this healing? Or can I download you with blah, 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 blah. Just say yes, either or either um, out loud or uh, in your mind. I can't do anything without your free will. So no worries about that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to close my eyes. See whatever is needed. So can we do a little healing on your heart? And you can put one or two hands on your heart. Then just breathe into your heart for me. Restore, renew your heart. So that you're able to have a new identity. Because there's a lot of heartbreak there. You know, for some of you, it's been years that this is going on. And you've, um, you've, uh, some people have given up on it a little bit because of all the, the heartbreak around it. So can we just restore and renew your heart? Send a lot of love and healing to your heart. And can we download you that it's possible to heal, that you know how to heal, that you know that healing is not perfection, but it's progress. And you do it step by step. And that you don't, um, that you know how to um be kind to you, towards yourself within this healing process without having to um, compare yourself to other people. So can we release all the judgments uh, around your body, a body type, a body uh, form? <laughs> There's a lot of judgment on butts here as well. <laughs> and boobs um, and bellies can we all release all the judgment from your energetic field placed upon you by social media by other people by family members by you know any comment that has ever been made and that has made you feel weak or disempowered can we just release that you don't have to carry that it's way too much with you, Abby. Can we teach you that you're able to make your own decisions surrounding food, money as well, uh, exercise and how you want to do your life, how you want to live your life, that that's possible, that you know how to and when to, and that you know when to set boundaries and how to maintain them. That it's possible to have a beautiful body and um, have a beautiful connection with your family. That you know how to do that. That you know that it's possible. That you know that it's possible. That you know that it's possible. That you know that is possible. For some of you, I had to repeat it a few more times. <laughs> All right. Um... Let's see, can we um, can we firm the ground a little bit under your feet so that you know how to stand your ground in harsh ways without having to grab to food? And we're going to do a beautiful, beautiful meditation in a minute with that. So, yeah. Um... We do a healing on your sexual organs. Know that it's safe for you to express you sexually. Can we put, um, send some healing energy towards sexual trauma in this life, previous lives, in all dimensions? Thank you. Oh, that's a big one. Um, oh wow so what I receive as well is that it's very powerful to while doing this healing work also working on your um, life purpose your soul mission whatever you want to feel like you want to create into this world because the thing is if you have like a, a higher uh, higher purpose the you you come to realize that the waste issues are um i don't want to say not so important anymore but 
they weigh less on you. <laughs> <laughs> to say it like that. <laughs> I lack of better words, but yeah. So can we encourage you to find your life purpose and even find help with that? Because sometimes you don't really see your own value. But if you have a lot of good people around you, they really see that. Like they can really pick that out of you, especially people who love you or people who have like an eye for that or very much trained in that. That's very beautiful. All right. So. okay, I'm just going to give you some more downloads. I know what it feels like to be safe in my bed. Just say yes if you want to receive that. I know what it feels like to be safe in my body. I know what it feels like to have a balanced way of eating my food. I know how to be uh, balanced and tranquil and safe and in peace when I eat my food. I know how to wait for a moment and, and take a breath before I eat my food. I know how to love my body. I know what that feels like because some of you haven't never felt that before. So I know what it feels like to love my body. Or I'm open. If that's too much for you, I'm open to feel like, you know, to what it feels like to love my body. I'm open to loving my body. So I'm just going to open your aura to find new ways of loving your body you know maybe for some of you it's through dancing or through doing another activity or you know finding motivational uh speech on instagram or or youtube that will like change your perspective so can i just open some gateways where you know open some doors where there were walls before And just open your energy field to that. All right. Yeah, for some of you, I feel like there's a lot around safety and I can't really do that in this masterclass. So if you want to book a session either with me or someone else, just know that that's possible. Mm. Let's see, is there anything else we can do? Oh, that's good. Okay, so the next one is going to be a beautiful meditation, um, especially when you have um, issues. Um, well, I'm not going to say that. Well, you know what it is. This meditation is actually it's gonna let you help you see the root of why you're grabbing towards food, or whenever you you have problems like anorexia or something like that, like or, or you know you have actually problems with eating food or swallowing or something like that. You can uh, have the issue in front of you and see uh, instead of the food. So um, for, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do the meditation with, uh, as you, as, 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 if, as with a food, I know whenever we do the meditations, you know what I'm going to mean, but um, uh, so, so when, when you have, when your food issue is like binging or uh, anything around that or eating too much or, uh, you know getting out of control with that um because there are there are always certain foods you grab towards and sometimes there are several so then it's really helpful to do this meditation one more time um you know or do it with all the foods that you are attracted to whenever you feel down or whenever you know whenever you you whenever yeah whenever you you have a hard moment um, but whenever you feel like you resonate more with like not eating, not being able to swallow, not uh, liking food, you know, the orthorexia uh, kind of area, then I want you to imagine the um, 
the way you want your body to look like you know i want you to imagine that in front of you whatever that looks for you whatever that looks like for you so maybe that can be like the 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 version of body you want to have or maybe the uh the not easing for example you see like a, an empty plate whatever resonates for you you can use that in that in the following meditation okay so in this meditation, we're going to use, uh, we're going to see the cords attached to your food and where it is uh, linked into your body and what desire is being, you know, what, yeah, what desire is being met there. So in, so when you know this, you know how to uh, turn that around uh, and, and help you get the desire Matt in a different way um yeah so this is very powerful if to do like a few more rounds for um uh for other foods if you're struggling with that but it if you allow yourself to go deep in this one you really find the desire that is being unmet and sometimes even the trauma in what you experience it so okay let's see and so close your eyes for me take a deep breath in and a deep breath out deep breath in and a deep breath out and i'm gonna count from 10 to 1 and when we're at one, you're going to be very, very relaxed. Ten. Your eyes are getting very tired. Nine. Eight. Seven. Your body is getting relaxed. Six. Very much aware of this really peaceful surrounding. Five. Four. Three, even more and more and more relaxed. Two, one. Now you're feeling more relaxed than you've ever felt before. Deep breath in. And with your exhale, you're going to feel how much more relaxed you can be. All right. So I want you to visualize and pick one food for this. You can do the meditation over after this one. Pick one food or an empty plate or whatever feels right for you. Pick one food that you are attached to, that you grab towards whenever things feel out of control, whenever you feel like you need some nourishment or something else. Just imagine that food right in front of you. Now I want you to imagine that cords coming out of the food and into your body. And I want you to observe where in your body these cords attach. For some of you it's in your throat, for some of you it's in your belly, maybe at your sexual organs, maybe your knees, maybe at your back. Where is it? Where is this food attached to in your body? And then I want you to do, just be curious. Do a little research. So for example, when it's in your, when it's, when a cord is attached in your throat, what things are you not voicing? What are you afraid to speak up about what is it in your throat what is the desire that is not being met for example if you if the cord attach in your in your um in your belly maybe above your belly button sometimes got to do with identity am i really allowed to be myself what's the 
What's the desire there? What unmet need? What is the food fixing or the empty plate? What is it fixing inside my body? What do I want from it? How does it fix me? Or things or emotions? How does it help me? How is that food protecting me? And maybe it is your sexual organs. What did I experience that has allowed me to protect myself with food? Maybe it's in your back. What weight am I carrying? What responsibilities have I taken on my back? Maybe it's in your neck or your shoulders. What things am I carrying from my ancestors? Am I repeating the same pattern? Maybe it's your third eye that the cord comes towards. What intuitive steps am I not taking that is good for my life purpose and higher self? How am I denying myself my worth? Am I making an, an um, I'm not allowing myself to make the decisions that I need to make. Maybe the cords are coming towards your eyes. What are you not seeing? What are you so afraid to see? And how is food helping you to turn away from that? I know this can be tough, guys, to face. But really, just watch it with kindness. It was never to hurt yourself, so you don't need punishment. And it was never your fault. Maybe it was no one's fault. It just happened the way it did. And know that you can choose a different path. The one that you visualize with your future self. The one that is possible for you. The one that you're worthy of. The one in which your life purpose will matter. That you will matter. Because you already matter. You already matter. What if you would really, really, really believe that? I feel like some of you are on some crossing points in your life. There you go. You can go left, you can go right. Maybe you can even turn back. What if you could go straight forward? Straight forward. Right to your dreams. And I know that's scary. <laughs> what if what if you could carry that? A fear and that anxiety and that scariness with you. That's okay. It can be there. It doesn't need to go away. But I'm going to live my life anyway. Have 
I'm going to wrap you up with a lot of light, unconditional love in all the cells of your body. A lot of self-love, confidence, and a potential to see who you truly are, how strong you truly are. And that this food and weight and exercise is just trying to protect you. All right. We're going to do it like this. All right. So, you're probably still <laughs> a little bit into the meditation, but if you need some more help um, and you feel like you resonate with my energy, there's several ways to work with me. So, check my Canlandly website or Instagram, uh, you know, for an updated version of this. It can change in the future, of course. But for now, I have my finally full package that's for weight freedom. And uh, then you have like six sessions with me, either online or in person, where I help you to create the mental freedom around food and fall in love with your body again. Because, you know, guys, that's what we truly... Uh, in these six sessions, I'm, I'm just going to help you to see what is really going on there and what is really at the bottom of there you know there are so many struggles there for a lot of you um that you've been dealing with for so long and being able to really see what's underlying in that ish in that process in that issue then you can create that mental freedom to put that behind you and to create your own life and focus on your life purpose and the things you really want to give towards you know to have the, the great relationship, to have the great work. Okay, so if that's a step too uh, far for you, I have like single healing sessions as well and family constellations. Family constellation, we work on uh, like actually the family patterns that run to in, in, your, um, in your family, which can already... Uh, give a lot of freedom those are magical and you know of course we have the theta scene and healing sessions as well which are always beautiful yeah um and if you need like a quick um clarity then you can also book like a 30 minute uh, energy reading that where I give you the an audio of 30 minutes and uh You'll be getting that in your email so you can listen it over again whenever you need that. Okay, so you can find me on Calendly or um, hit me a DM on Instagram. You can find me there or my website. So thank you very much. And I'm just going to probably, you can see this now. <laughs> uh, where are we? Here we are. Okay. I hope you have a wonderful day or evening whenever you're watching.